<laughs> you good? All right, man. It was. Uh... Did you feel like a superstar? Nah. Talk sport, you know. Yeah. Mitch was, was on Talk Sport. Yeah. First show, Sports Bar Weekend. Oh, it was good, man. Who's Sundays, posh guy ten to twelve. Michael Kern, man. He works on Talk Sport too. Okay. Um, now he's on Talk Sport One, doing the show with me. We got it throughout the whole summer. I have got a sick fact today. Go on. Did you know Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah. Hitchcock had no belly button. Mad, isn't it? He was born with one, but then he had an op operation that was sewn up. They took it away. They took it away. He really? He's one of the greatest ever directors. I don't really. Of horror, yeah. Mm. Uh, Catching you with soccer aid, ever? No? Yes. Yes, yes. Jeremy was sick. F2 Jeremy. Ooh, I watched. That, did it. you see Kem from Love Island's Goal? No. The equaliser. You didn't no, no, see no, that? No, no, no. I, I started travelling. I was at my mum and dad's and I were left. By uh, okay. Missed the penalties and all that. So it was 2 1 for the Madrid <clears throat> game to England. World 11, Kem comes on from Love Island. Bro, he scores. What, world it? He scores a Mo Salah esque goal. Ball comes over, he takes a touch, cuts in, dribbles past someone, and then wraps his left foot around it and bends Is it into it? the far corner. I swear, I couldn't believe it. At first, I didn't know it was him because I just see a short guy with long hair, kind of stocky, I swear. wave, do, scoring the goal and waving off in celebration. Then when the camera zoomed into him, I was like, Let's get into some comments. Oh, before we do that, this is Take A Bow, the show where we get the funniest stuff on the internet. We did it straight to you, Craig McStevo, the madman, of course. Um, yeah, let's go into some comments from you guys. So Eric S has said, do more shows standing to show how short Stevo is. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. That's not funny. No, you, why did you laugh there? No, 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 no. I deliver L's. Oh, you, you're the L deliverer now. I thought we had specs for that. It says, damn, Drogba is tall, didn't know. He that tall. <laughs> Where was the T? That's an L for you, bro. Get it? You even, put talk. The, even put the T on the end, bro. You should dot your eyes and cross your T's. Uh, coach Mitch, there's only one Coach Mitch around here, <laughs> said Lukaku doesn't bang enough goals in the big games. <laughs> I always find it funny when young people use the term bang goals. I banged a goal. Some people go, I rust it top bins. I'm Who says like, that? Bria Amer says, Craig, I'm a Chelsea fan and I loved the Challenge Time song. Oh. It was a great idea. Tap them. Ooh, I like that. But it, was, ooh, it was a great idea, but I just think you was a bit out of tune. A bit. All right. You're yeah. being so polite, my bro. Exactly. I was hella out of tune, but you know it happens. Uh, Coach Mitch came back again with a second comment and said, "I'd have Tierney and Fraser AFC to Scots flying down the left. The, 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 the grammar, everything is a mad thing in the comments." I'm not the grammar police, but I you know I have to read these out. So please make it a little bit easier for me, because this is just mad. I read that perfect, by the way. <laughs> uh, loving life for real, with a capital always says, who cares about Arsenal though? Rah, True, bro. man. My People have been fam. talking about them for a long, long time, for season after season. For me, that is boring now, Arsenal. Have course. they lost their panache? What's that one? I think as a club, I just think everything's gone. Remember the one thing that used to make me love Arsenal was the fact that they, it was two, there was two things that made me love Arsenal. They used to bring kids through, but I'm on about kids from around the world, not necessarily English kids, but yeah. they'd go and find cheap players, bring, build them up, you know what I mean? From, from nothing. And then, them players turned into great footballers and, and, and they played the greatest football in the Premier League. Up until recently, the greatest football I've ever seen, and I probably actually they probably have. I don't want to disrespect them. They probably played the greatest football the Premier League's ever seen. You know what I mean? So that's what I love about Arsenal. But now that's all gone. So what, what is there to love about Arsenal now except for moaning fans? Mad thing. Anyway, let's go on. Challenge time. Tab them question. Who oh, cost Real Madrid more money? Real Madrid more money. Robin or Schneider? And uh, Idris forty one got the answer. Robin costs more. First post comes from BT Sport. Uh, BT Sport football on Twitter said, Paul Pogba is ready for a new challenge after three seasons with Man United. So he said, while doing a promotional event in Tokyo for Adidas, for me, I've been for three years in Manchester and I've been doing great. Some good moments and some bad moments like everybody. I think for me, it could be a good time, good time to have a new challenge somewhere else. Now, I spoke about this a lot on, on my TalkSport show yesterday. Steve, what's your, what's your thoughts on this, on Pogba making these comments? It's dividing opinion, man. It's polarising the public. I don't know where I read this or if someone told me, it might be my brother, but when Real Madrid comes in for you, yeah. every player says it's time for a new challenge. Yeah? 
Like Ericsson did it a couple of weeks ago. Bro, every use that exact player, phrase. Yeah. Every player over the years, I'd love to get a, like a compilation of players that have Madrid come in for and they all say it. It's a new um, challenge. Because for me, the new challenge would be yeah. stay at United, yeah. actually do the business on a regular, um, captain the team, take your team to championship. Like That's a challenge. That's a new challenge. A challenge where you're there and you have to get to there because he's always been here. You know what I mean? So the challenge would be lift yourself from the pit. What I would say is this. When you're a World Cup winner and you're one of the biggest brands in football on the planet, you're, he's up there, maybe top 10 right now. He's well, got as, more- As brands in football. As a brand, yeah. period. He's got more followers on Instagram than Man United. I checked it, he has 35 million followers on Instagram. Manchester United have 29 million. So he's got to think about his brand outside of football. He's 26. So has he got another 10 years in this as a player? No. So what's he got to do for the rest of his life? He has to think about him and what he's going to do. If he believes Real Madrid or wherever a new challenge is best for his career, his family, his personal brand and his pocket, and he doesn't want to play Europa League football, because how many big superstars want to play Europa League football no. next season? No one. No one should be mad at him, I think, for him saying he wants a new challenge, because you can't challenge yourself in Europa League. Yeah. How are you going to be challenged in Europa League when Arsenal and Chelsea waltz their way to the final? Basically, when I'm looking at Man United, he's getting a lot of abuse for a lot of things that have nothing to do with football. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. So you don't think, so at From Madrid, the day you got there, haircuts, at, at Madrid, expression. you would be allowed to express yourself. Do you think? I just think at Real Madrid, it's not, there's no, there's no single, they don't single people out. Anyone can get it at Madrid. If you're not performing, go. Mm. Anyone, they don't care over there. All right, next one comes from Bleacher Report. Um, and they've said, name I wants to leave PSG and the club is open to letting him go for the right offer this summer. And this comes from Le Quip. Um, or is it Le Keep? What is it? Le Keepy. Two, two injuries. A little bit of a sloppy move, in my opinion, to Paris Saint-Germain, because that's not testing yourself. No. Going to that league where you, you needed to stay at Barcelona or... Yeah, but... Reddies. And not only that, I'm sure he moved there to for the World Cup that's going to be over in um, Qatar yeah. Yeah, and all of that, right? So, yeah, it's a bigger plan. But bruv, honestly, now looking at his career, he's won everything there is to win, but I still feel it's been disappointing. And, and, and I say it in this way because it's like, it's only just deep, like, come to me. I think the problem with Neymar is when he came through, like you said, and he was soaring at those yes. times, 2014 World Cup, time. he was the guy that was touted to be the next Messi Ronaldo yes. in that conversation. We're looking at it now and we're going, potentially Mbappe and Hazard are looking closer mm -hmm. to that ilk than you are right now and you possess a once in a lifetime ability yeah. and you're not really being at the helm of these things when he was winning all these things with Barcelona Messi was the guy you've come to PSG have you really been the guy or have you Cavani and, and Mbappe been sharing that responsibility yeah, you, have, you become yeah. that talisman everyone thought he was going to be I don't, I don't really think so is it a bad thing how we think you know how we both think and how, how the people we, um, they inspire us think as well. Is it a bad thing that you're saying, you know what, I'm looking after me, in, in, rather than thinking of the team? It's not. A and, and the club. Because you think football career is 15 years, if you're lucky. You've got to think about the rest of your life, the rest of your family's life, mm. all of that, bro. I think it's not a bad thing if you're giving your all on the pitch. He's going to cost something around 200 million, apparently. Mm -hmm. That's his value, current value. Um, which is around about the same he went for, so he hasn't really gone down or gone up. Where would he go? Who's gonna Who's gonna pay that two hundred million? Mate, you're gonna have to. Whoever does is gonna have to put some um, things in his contract that state social media. All of this stuff has to be sort of look, oh, put on the back burner. Yeah. Because there's no way it's proven now that you can't do. As I say, you, I believe you cannot do both. Find me a player top like top of their game, but playing at the top of their game, but then is on the internet, no, you can't. dancing, singing, doing doing internet and doing top of your game. It's difficult. Find me that player in any sport, you're not going to find it. But then saying that 200 million, if a Man City get him, won't they make that back on shirts? Beckham, Ronaldo? It don't work like that. The brand gets all the money. They just give the club a, a lump sum for the sponsorship and so then they make the money off the shirt for, sales. For my whole life, that's been BS then. Beckham making back changed. money and paying his con... Uh, Fee off and all of that. Potentially, yeah. Of course. Odds Bible. <laughs> yeah. Something to be 
has said, Maurizio Sarri has officially been announced as the new Juventus oh. manager. Chelsea have identified Frank Lampard and Kepa Ariza Balaga as the front runners to replace him. Oh my, who do you think is going to replace him then? Kepa or Frank? I honestly have to say that's a dead joke from Bottas. No, but he did He did call the shots in that Carabao Cup final. He did for one, for one game. Or and one, he embarrassed for one his manager. But bro, I'm happy with Frank. Do you think Frank should get the job? Do you think it's the right time? Is he ready or is it a mistake? Oh, for, for Frank, I think maybe one more year. But you, they go and get someone, start winning, you lose your dream job forever. So sometimes this is when they say, you know what? Go for it. So for yeah. Frank, you're saying, good move. It can't be bad. He's been there yeah. as a player and seen it all, yeah? And not only that, he's been managed by some of the greatest managers to have ever played, right? And he's been close to him as well. Been very, very close. So he would have seen them uh, firsthand doing some stuff and even been told some stuff firsthand as well, yeah? So for me, if you get that, but then you get a David Moyes at the time, who everyone said was right for this Man United job, right? So I'm going back now, right for this Man United job. So if you've got him and Frank Lampard, who's got more experience at the bigger stage? You would say Frank. Even though he hadn't played, uh, um, sorry, hadn't been a manager, just being around it, amongst it, yeah. the bright lights, European nights, um, press conferences, all of that, he'd seen it. But because he hasn't had experience as a manager, so I think if you balanced it, this geezer, Frank's got some of the most experience in the world out of any person in football. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they're, listen, they're saying, he's saying, I agree with that. He's saying, or oh, there are reports saying, sorry, that he wants to combine his Jody Morris and John Terry's talents at Stanford Bridge. Yeah, I'll be really, really happy with that. Make that contingent. Yeah. As a West Ham fan, you'd be really happy with that. As a fan of football. <laughs> as a fan of football, I'd be, <laughs> man. No, no, it would, it, it's a great, do you know what it is though? This is my thing, Steve-O. Are you into romance? Yeah. Do you like romantic films? Yeah, man. This is a great romance story. Yeah. This is what it is. It's, it's a narrative. It's very plugging at the heartstrings. Mm -hmm. Only gonna social. He scored yeah. the treble yeah, winning no, final no. goal. That's what this is. Uh, next post comes from Sky Sports Premier League. They said West Ham are adamant that Diop is not for sale and it is believed they would not even listen to offers of less than 60 million. I mean, you've been talking about Diop for a while. Thank you. You've been to Mac for a while. Thank God you said that. I was just about to say that. What, what would you say? 60 million? Is he worth it? Get rid of him for 60. He's a great player. He's a good player. Well, you don't want to keep a hold of him. Hold on. Whoa. You just <laughs> use the word get rid. Shouldn't you be trying to keep him and build around someone? No, like this? we need money, cuz. No. Let's go and build a good squad. But he's, you just said he's a good player. He's you, a don't great wanna, player. you don't want to be a solid club. Bruv, we can go. That's how you find... a bigger club. No, no. Listen, I like the Great ability, but listen, if he. Another, say he plays this season, as another great season. We're only going to be able to sell him for that anyway. Yeah. Well, you ain't going to go for more than Van Dyke. Do you think someone like Manchester United, because you know him very well, if they came in with 60 million, you said you'd sell him. Do you think he'd work well at Manchester United? Because they're looking at Maguire at the moment. They're battling with uh, Man City for Maguire. But obviously, if Man City win that race, let's say, do you think Diot will be good there? The reason I say no is again, Allow putting the young boy into the pressure cooker. But right. look at what they've got right now. They've given Smalling a new deal, crazy. They've given Phil Jones a new deal. They've still got Bailly. Lindelof seems to be their main centre half. So what would it be? Oh, by all means, he's better than what they've got. But I just don't think he should go into there and the pressure comes on him. But he's yeah. good, he's a good player. But he ain't even made a French cap yet, you know that, ain't it? Has he not? No. Well, it's difficult. Let's, let's, is, let's see, let's see, he has over the last few weeks, but... I mean, Laporte's yeah. just come leaps and bounds, and he ain't getting in that front side for the time being. West Ham fans, Hammer's watching this, let us know about Diop, man. Would you want to keep him? Steve was saying 60 M's, let him go, but Listen, what you, what you I love saying? him. I think he's a great player. Of course, I would love to keep him, but bro, 60 M's, we can go um, do some more scouting and get a couple more players and build this squad and really secure like a top sort of eight and then next season, season after, yeah. add to that, start getting into that top six with that money, you know what I mean? Sky Sports Premier League. So West Ham and Valencia have both had bids of 29 million, right? Mm. Accepted plus the add-ons by Celta Vigo for striker Maxi Gomez. It's now up to the player to decide where he goes. So we've got clubs just accepting the bids. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Now it's all on him. The power. Maxi Gomez, would you, have you have you seen a lot of him? What's your thoughts on him? 
not seen a lot, lot of him. Um, they say he's in the Harry Kane mould, but if he was in the Harry Kane mould, he'd have a lot more than two goals in 12 games for his country. Um, 29 million, it's not even a lot. That's what I'm saying, that's why... In this day and age, it's not... No. It's not a lot, it's not really a Who's lot. Who's your main um, number nine at the moment? Is it Hernandez or Antonio? Who plays number nine? Oh, our main num Our number nine is actually Carroll, but obviously he, he's going. So do you need or a number God. nine? You do. Wiltshire hasn't stopped training pre-season. Like, he hasn't, he hasn't stopped training before pre-season. Um, so he might, should come back and do things, probably taking a weight off his shoulder by letting people know what's been going on in his head and all yeah. of that. So I'm hoping a midfield with him, um, Declan on the wing, my little, forget his name, the little winger. Someone put it in the comments, please. Grady Diang. Can we... Is it Grady Diang? Grady Diang. Yeah. With him. Oh, I'm hopeful, man. Mm. Hernandez. I, I think you should go for this guy, man. Look, he's six foot one. He scored 13. He hit double figures in 33 appearances for Celta Vigo last season. They're not a great side. I don't know. It's good. So he's done his bit, you know, two goals. I know you're saying he could have got a bit more to be in the Harry Kane mold. I agree, exactly. but he's got 12 international caps for Uruguay. Maybe the next Suarez, that could be a reach probably is a reach bro i pretty much got my ear to the ground with all of the kids yeah. around europe i've never heard of him yeah I hear you. no no, no I, one sec sorry i've heard of him i haven't heard enough of him bro hey. uh mark goldbridge has said rashford being offered 300k a week to stay at united lol that's got to be banter he's got potential but right now he's worth no more than 150k united needs to actually watch these players before running out these contracts Lad closes his eyes on crosses. So Marcus Rashford is being linked with a move to Barcelona, allegedly, this summer. Reports suggest that United will have to put him on a major contract to scare them off. And apparently United fans are unhappy uh, about having to give Rashford a contract to keep him happy. This is the thing, right? Rashford is still extremely young. Mm. People forget how young he is. When he burst on the scene, 2021 20, max. 21 max, right? He burst on the scene at that game against Liverpool three, four years ago. And we've seen him around for so long now. Man City, the next game. Yeah, that we see him as a seasoned veteran because he burst on the scene so young. If you're only 20, 21, the ability that Rashford possesses, he still has the world. He's still at one of the biggest clubs in the world. Yeah. Still been grappling with playing out of position from time to time. I mean, think about it. Like Craig, what? all of that considered. 300k a week. He's not, he's not worth that, bro. He ain't putting them performances. Steve, what what is 300k a week nowadays? By the way, I, I love Rashford. Can I you know you know how I feel about Rashford and then remember the Mbappe. I've always I've, Mbappe's a scam like that now, but for me, Rashford has the ability to be up there with him at once soon. I'm telling you, if he plays, if he gets his head on, duh, 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 right? But he hasn't been playing well. Not great. Who has? Paul Pogba. Like, but he even that's not great. Exactly. So what I'm saying, no one deserves. Like, you only so get new not... contracts when you do well. You, what, what job do you work in where you play mediocre and get a new contract? But we've said why he they might get, may give him the new contract because you've got one of the biggest clubs in the world sniffing around. How many, him. How many years he got left? No idea. No, no idea. But this is what I'm gonna say. Sell him then. No, but oh. this is, no, but this is what I'm gonna say, Steve. Let, let me put it to you like this. You're paying Alexis Sanchez, a 30 year old, around 400 to whatever it is, 500 grand a week. What has he done? Has Rashford done more than him? Way more than him. Does Rashford care about Manchester United? 100%, he's a local lad, he's from there, he's come through the academy. They signed a superstar in Alexis Sanchez. They thought they did. So that's why he's on that amount of money. Yeah, but if you get him off the bill and then you're paying your, your future superstar who really cares about the club, who potentially can lead your line, your number nine, 300 grand a week to when keep he him there. a superstar then. Because then what, you're gonna have to give him 500 grand when he starts. When everyone when, knows when who Barca, he is. When Barca everyone, comes in is he not a superstar? 20. Is, he not, is he not a superstar? Everyone knows who no, he is. He's not. Plays for the bigger, he leads the line of the superstar. biggest club on he, the planet. He's a good little young player with potential, but blood, he's not. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Man United fans, let us know. Yeah, man, let us know what you think. Does he deserve 300 grand no, a week. He, he gonna, they're going to say no. It's mad times over there. Rising Ballers have uh, posted uh, England under 21 squad and they've announced it. Um, and let's let's run through some of the players in there. So obviously goalkeepers, Angus Gunn is in there. He obviously went to the, he's played in the in, in the England seniors at times. Uh, defenders, 
Jake Clark Salter, Jay De Silva, Lloyd Kelly, John Joe Kenny, Ezra Konza. Obviously, we've got Tamori in there, Wamba Saka, some great talents. Chowdhury in the midfield, Foden, of course, Gibbs White, James Madison, Ryan Sessignon forwards, Calvert Lewin, Dominic Solanke, Demari Gray, Nuris Nelson, Tammy Abraham. Good squad. Good squad. Should they be winning this, in your opinion? Yeah. The under 21 yeah. European Championship, yeah. should they be winning this? Yeah. Because this team, I'm looking at this team, Madison is playing first team football in Premier League. Gibbs White is playing first team football in the Premier League. Bonds. Um, Saka. Juan Basaka, Damari Gray. There's quite a lot of experience in this team now at such a young age. They need to go and win this. Couple they need to go and win this. I in believe the team in as well. Good luck, lads. See Lloyd Kelly in there. Boom. The boys, Jay De Silva. France are the favourites. And then it's England, then Spain. But, Spain. I mean, France are favourites for the World Cup, senior. The Women's World Cup, well, them and USA between them. Now they're favourites of the... What, how has France done this? Well, you know, because what happens is you have... A, a, your, every, every country has a period. As I say, France is having it now. Is it that time before of the month? It was, uh, before it was Germany or Spain. Who was the last before that? It was Germany, innit? I thought England's... We were just on the cusp and we still can be, but we're battling with France for this, for this thing. So this, for me, will be a major, 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 major thing. If the under-21s... Again, that builds the confidence for the seniors. Just like with the yeah. under-20s, under-17s, what happened with them, it builds confidence. So this could, be a, this could be a, 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 um, a change of time, man, I'm telling you. Good luck to the young man, them. Do your thing, represent, yes. make us proud. All right, it is channel One, in like a dream come true. Two, I want to challenge you. Woo! Three, it's clear to see that Mitch will never challenge me. Oh. One. Yeah, anyway, I could go on. Like you know what I mean? Dream hey, Brian McKnight was my guy, man. Bro. Uh, Brian. I don't me... like to influence the viewers. I like them to just really judge, but that was. Thank you. That was out the top draw, mate. With a sore throat. Like a pair of socks. All right, so 58 players have played in the Premier League and scored hat tricks in the Champions League. Hat We're going to be tested to name those players based on the Premier League clubs they played for and the Champions League teams. They scored their hat tricks for that is a mouthful. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, boom. <laughs> Stuck to my guns. I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna ask you first. Music. Which former Arsenal striker scored a Champions League hat trick for Manchester United in 2014? Oh, Ten. Van Persie. Nine. Which former Man United striker scored a Champions League hat trick for PSG in 2013? Three, two. Oh, wow. Maria. Wow. No, it's not him. My mind went blank. Slatan Ibrahimovic. Oh, All right, one nil still better. Uh, Steve O. What? Who'd you call me? I was spitting <laughs> while I was talking. Still better. All right, one nil to Steve O. Which former Fulham striker scored a Champions League hat trick for Olympiacos in 2013? Three, two, one. <laughs> you didn't know this. <laughs> Costa Matrogoli. What? Are you serious? Come on, man. Great. Yes. Which former Swansea City striker scored a Champions League hat trick for Leon in 2011? Three. It wasn't it wasn't Lorente, two. was it? No, it was not. Batifemi Gomez. Panther. Gomez. Excuse the celebration. Batifemi Gomez. What a name. And you know why they called him a Panther, don't you? Why? Uh, which former Chelsea striker scored a Champions League hat-trick for Inter Milan in 2010? Three. Oh. We've even slowed it down. Oh, no, Two. No. One. <laughs> Samuel Etu, one of the greatest African players ever, after DDA Drogba. Which former Liverpool striker scored a Champions League hat-trick for Valencia in 2006? Light work. How is that light work? How is light work? Ten. Nine. Was he at Valencia, though? Nine. Oh. Eight. No, is it Morientes? Uh, Steve-O, which yeah. former Middlesbrough attacker scored a Champions League hat-trick for Fenerbahce in 2004? Wow. Five. Four. Daniel Griezmann. Griezmann. Sandy Tunchai. <laughs> Sandy, you know. <laughs> Don't know what his name Sandy. is. Sandy. 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 Yeah. He's 37, Sandy. He's 37 now, is it going? I do know who he is. Boy. Craig, oh, yeah. it is 1-1. One, one. This is the final question. Oh, God. You can win it. <sighs> So easy. How is it it's easy? So easy. So really out then. Which former Portsmouth striker 
scored a Champions League hat trick for Maccabi Haifa. Who the Dubai. hell is Maccabi Haifa, bro? This is, well, this is it. We don't know who they are. But and he do, scored a hat trick. But we do. But Hold there's on. only probably one player that's come from there. I'm on about seven now. Six. Five. Is it Kanu? No, no, no. No. It's um, Yakubu, bro. That, he was Yakubu. about 16 and he played against Manchester. You said there's only one striker. Just the, the, you can't, Kanu's close. All right, so it is time for a Tim Bray card. You get another chance at this. Oh, oh. no, man. I don't want to lose. I want to do it like this now. Do it how you want. I'm doing Wait, it. Is this the no rules? Yes. All right, you ready? Ready? Go ahead. Rock, tape, scissors. <laughs> we both changed to the one that wasn't the one. You ready? I'm doing it like this now. I'm doing it like this. You ready? Yeah. Rock, tape, scissors. Mm, two rock, paper, scissors in one go. Which former Manchester United striker scored a Champions League hat trick for Arsenal in 2014? Five, four, three. Danny Welbeck. Boom! <laughs> That guy Wolves, my guy. Hey, I miss you, that you know guy Wolves. And he's a Spartan. Well done. Yes, he is. Well done. Well Thank done. you, well done. Thank you. That guy Wolves, the Spartan. Hey, Dave, tough questions today, man. They, they were tough. Like, yeah, man. They, they made you tough. think. But yeah, that is it. End of take a bow, Wolf. Listen, people, subscribe. Yeah. Tell your friends. You can't keep telling us, stopping us on the roads, telling us it's a sick show and all of that. Yeah. But you're not telling people, you're not subscribing or not hitting the notification button. It's a, it's a, Come on, man. It's a, it's a great secret yeah, yeah, yeah. that's being kept by yeah. you guys, but we want it to go everywhere. So yeah, hit the like button as well. Oh, thank you. Show us, show us some Thank love. you for tuning in yeah. every week, man. All season, all of that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, man, we'll, we'll see you next week. Sick fact, by the way. Hitchcock. Boom, 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 no belly button. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Ha 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 